Hey Libra, it's Gwen from Mystic Tumbleweeds, and I'm here to do your August Love Oracle reading. Uh, thank you for joining me today. Thank you for the likes, shares, subscribes. Thank you for the good karma donations. We love you so much. Um, our little channel is growing so fast, and um, my messages have been actually, you know, getting out there and resonating with so many of you, and I'm so glad to hear that. Um, in tuning in with your energy, <clears throat> actually tried to do this last night on the 4th and um, in tuning into your energy I actually it was super intense and I actually had to get in a bath and relax I had a lot of tension in my back and my neck and um, even trying to relax in the tub was difficult so I don't know what's going on with you Libra but we'll see what, what comes out in your reading and I thought I would st start your reading with um, sound bowl for you okay still hear it. <laughs> I love it. Okay. I burned some beautiful blue sage and I think we are ready. So I'm going to tune into my fairy deck today and see what fairies have to say. <clears throat> what is the message for Libra for this month of love for August? What's the message for Libra? Libra, show me clearly, show me clearly, show me clearly. Remember, these messages are general, so um, take what resonates, throw the rest out. If you're looking for a private personal reading, all of my information is down below. Just email me, and I can tune in to your energy. What is the message for Libra for August in love? What is the message for Libra? Libra? We've got one message so far. What is the message? There we go. Thank you, fairies. The message for Libra. What's the message for Libra. Anything else? We'll also tune into my animal oracle deck and um, we'll get some answers and some more confirmation from the archangels today for you. One more time, we'll go through this. Libra. Woo! Libra. Okay. That was some fierce energy there at the end. Okay. Mm. Mm. What a beautiful, beautiful, beautiful cards. I love when they come out like this. Okay. So the first card out is card 27, Carry Me Home. This is a beautiful portrayal and a beautiful card about actually letting somebody else in your life carry the weight. Look at how he holds her. Look at how content she is to let him carry her. Okay? So this, this is speaking to me about a relationship in your life where you are actually allowing, releasing the control. It is time for you to rest. Allow the supportive male masculine to take care of you. Is the is is what the fairies are saying here in this card? Okay. Allow you know as givers too. We are. I'm a giver. Okay, so like I know how it is to actually be able to like learn how to receive because as givers we just do it all the time. And so as you know, learning how to receive again and receiving love and receiving care. And sometimes it's, it's hard to ask for it, you know, but once you do believe me, like it's like this dam breaks and it's like, yes, the universe and spirit will show you this love. Okay. Um, next in, you've got Barnabas and the Prince. And, um, this is, a, a, you know, in my fairy deck, there are not, many masculine presences and there are three in your cards here so i really do feel like it it's either a new connection coming into your life um 
or you're rekindling an old one, but because you're about ready to go on this beautiful new adventure, that's what this card says. Adventure, discovery, travel, um, and you've got your prince here. Like, this, there he is, there, and here he is there, okay? He wants to take you on this magical journey. Meeting destiny. This is all divinely guided. This love story here, by the way. Card number 11, as I say that. <laughs> Go on this adventure, the fairies say. Is there something in the book? Okay, they still have something in the book about this Barnabas. It's going to relate to you. He's come out quite a bit in my love readings lately, so... Um, A dream, a vocation, success, or a purposeful activity is reaching out for you. Just as you as reach out for it. Use the power of your voice. Use the power of your voice to call out for it. Let the world and the natural world know that you wish for them to deliver. Seeking out a mate, actively searching for a soulmate, searching for you, synchronicity. So, that yeah. This is destined. He is looking for you. What you want, wants you. Okay. And he wants to take you on this beautiful, beautiful adventure where he is supporting you completely. This is a sacred union. <laughs> this is a sacred union. The green man's bride is the next card, okay? This is also about a deep connection with love of yourself. And when that happens, this unconditional love happens, then that's the kind of love that you attract into your like. Like attracts like, you know. Um, this is also signals to me, like when I said it could be a, a rekindling of an old flame. Um, this is about a commitment cere ceremony, renewing your vows. Also like a hand fasting ceremony. Um but it's beautiful. It's a beautiful sacred union. Go on this journey. It's divinely guided. Don't be afraid. Libra. It's how I felt with your energy like last night. It just, I totally felt like I even went on a walk, ground, you know, and my legs felt like tree trunks. I felt really heavy and then really tense up in my up, like from my waist up, I felt really tense. So it's time for you to let somebody take care of you and go on this fabulous new adventure. <laughs> see what the animals have to say. You deserve it. You deserve this love. What do the animals have to say for August, for Libra, August, Libra. Well, I got really excited on that one. I'm wearing my butterfly shirt for you, too, today. See how tropical it is, too? I've got this beautiful agate slice on with the tree of life on it. You know, connect again with nature, okay? I feel like part of your adventure is entailing nature, too. I mean, you've got the dragonfly spirit here. Okay, the dragonfly has been huge in my life. Um, coming into my life, like, all the time, daily, the dragonfly, okay? Hanging out on my windowsill, hanging out in the tree in front of my yard, big ones flying by me. Card 22 is a synchronistic number. Now you got 11, now you got 22, okay? Dragon's fly is about seeing behind the veil, okay? And knowing your own truths, okay? Feeling your own power again, rebirth, Okay, duality, that's what this is all about. You have 21 and then 22. Don't tell me that this isn't that supported by, these, by spirit. Be at peace with where you are at. That's what the dove says, be at peace, okay? Spirit wants you to have peace, peace within your own heart, in your own soul, and with where you are at on your journey because you have this beautiful, beautiful, magical adventure coming into your life, okay? Dragonfly and dove. Amazing. It's at the bottom of the deck. <clears throat> Antelope spirit. Life is speeding up. Hang on. Hang on for this adventure coming up. <laughs> Love it. All right, let's confirm with my Archangel Tarot deck. This is the Archangel Power deck by Bradley Valentine. Anything else to tell about 
this love story today. Love story for Libra. What else do you have to say, angels? Can I get some confirmation on this love story? Whoa! Holy guacamole. All right. Four cards. We've got two aerial cards, and they're pink, and it speaks to creative pursuits as well. Um, you have invested wisely. Have patience and wait for the harvest. Review your progress and make plans for your next endeavor. Okay. I don't know. I When I read tarot cards, it's not like normal, okay? Like, I look at the pictures, and the pictures are what intuitively I terp interpret. And so this one to me, I mean, look, dude, dude standing right there. Look at him. This looks like the same dude in here. He's got his staff, too. Look at him. Like a crystal staff. He's waiting. He's waiting for you. <laughs> Have patience, Spirit says. Have patience. You are this queen right here, showing up in your own reading. Um, nurture yourself and those you love. The ability to make anything more beautiful, practical, and wise advice. Not only do you have the Queen of Ariel here, you have the Empress here. The Empress is all the queens. All of them. Mastered all of the queens. Okay? <laughs> Believe in you. Believe in the love that's in your heart. Know that you are attracting it into your life. You're, the prosperity that's coming into your life has been from wise planning. Okay? That's what it says right there. Your ship is coming in. Look at that, at the butterfly on it. Three of Gabriel. Beautiful, beautiful messages. Be patient, okay? You have the ability as the queen to make everything more beautiful because your thoughts are creating your reality, right? Okay? So create, recreate your web. Recreate your love story. You can do that. It's coming anyways. <laughs> it's divinely guided. <laughs> Time to act upon your plans. Creativity is rewarded. Luxury, luxurious or abundant resources from your creativity. Maybe it's a creative new adventure you're going on where you meet this other soul that is divinely guided and sacred. Hmm. Very interesting. I bet this one's going to relate to a lot of people and in different ways, certain areas. I mean, because this could speak to, like I said, a new relationship coming into your life. It also could speak to a new relationship you have with yourself. Um, but it also speaks to um, rekindling with this Green Man's Bride and, and renewing vows and seeing things much clearer now, your relationship. And you're at peace with where it's at. I love you, Libra. It's been super fun. But please do remember to take care of you. Surround yourself with beautiful things. Meditate. Listen to beautiful music. Get out in nature. Let the sun shine on your forehead. Okay? And I love you. I'll see you next time. If this resonated, um, comment down below. And um, it's been beautiful. Much love.